Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing? Man, it's Anelli here. Hey, what's going on, everyone? How we doing? Man, Antonelli here. So I wanted to talk about a, an interesting drill right here. This is uh, Jake Gustin. Plays at Bryant. Really, really good program up here in the Northeast in Rhode Island. Um, Jake was a player for us, for Antonelli Baseball, for basically his whole career. Really, really, really solid, solid player. Extremely hard worker, and anyways, this isn't an endorsement for Jake, but um, he was doing this drill. Just came home from uh, winter break, and he was going through this drill. And, and this isn't a drill that I use personally, but I saw him doing it, and so I had to run over and be like, hey, dude, talk to me about this drill. What are you trying to feel here? What are you trying to do? Took a little video of it. Really interesting, and I like it. Um, now, before we get into it, it's... An exaggeration again. We've talked about this in other drills. Sometimes people see drills and they're like, oh, oh, you can't swing like that in a game. Oh, no. Right? This drill or any drill, there's going to be certain things that you're trying to work on, trying to feel, trying to exaggerate, and then hopefully get that to get into your swing in some way. I've said it all the time. If you just go and take your normal swing, you're going to just continue to take your normal swing. And if you've got issues, then how are you ever going to change anything? So here's the drill. Basically, he gets into the net right here, kind of puts his butt on the net, back on the net. He's going to hit off a tee. He's going to start to pull back, get into this position right here. And now, because the net's here, a couple things. First, you can't pull hard to the right. You'll go into the net. You can't swing out around the ball and come this way because you're going to swing right into the net. So the key is you got to stay off the net. In order to do that, you've got to turn your knob up earlier. You've got to get your bow to work behind the ball. You've got to work from the inside out. And so he'll swing and he'll stop. So he'll pull back, swing, stop. Let's play it in regular speed here for a second. Do it one more time. Okay, so you can see how he stops right there and he holds his finish. Now this is a really interesting drill. Um, and the second I saw it, I was actually, you know, Jake was hitting and I was over here doing a lesson. The second I saw him do this, I had to stop everything and I had to come over and talk to him about it. A couple things I really like. Now again, depending on your philosophy, if you're someone that wants to swing down through the ball and wants to come over the top and you're probably going to hate this drill. But if you're someone that talks about being from the inside, out with their swing, someone that talks about trying to tilt and not just turn their shoulder to the right, someone that talks about trying to get the knob to turn up earlier, well, then this drill really puts you in a position where you've got to be able to do this. I mean, you've got to really exaggerate that. You can see how much this barrel stays inside, right? Inside the whole time. Now, he's going to go into his normal swing, and he's not. this isn't going to be his exact swing. But some of this is going to get into his normal swing. And when I talked to him about his swing, he said, you know, I was having a hard time. I was around everything. I couldn't, I couldn't use the whole field. Everything I did was hooking the ball into the four hole. I'd get a ball even away, and I'd want to hook it. And so... Since doing this drill, I'm driving the ball. I still pull the ball. I can pull the ball, but with better spin. And I can drive the ball in the left center field gap now better. I can use the whole field. And it's not even just about using the whole field. It's about getting better ball flight. When I'm able to tack the ball from the inside out, well, then I can. I still pull the ball, but I'm going to hit it with better spin. I'm not going to be around it and just hook it into the four hole or to the first baseman or second baseman. But I can drive the ball and get in the air a little bit more now. I can drive it. I can hit for more power to my pull side and to my the opposite field side. But really, I mean, probably the most valuable skill in baseball is to be able to pull the ball in the air. 
the great hitters, the players that get paid millions and millions and millions of dollars can pull the ball in the air. It's difficult to do. And so if I can stay, if I can work from the inside and I can get my barrel to stay from the inside and work from the inside out, well, I can pull the ball, I can get it in the air, I can hit more extra base hits. And then as an added bonus, I can use the entire field. So if they do throw me away, I can hit the ball hard the other way if I need to. But this is really cool. And again, you, you stop your swing here. If you're not doing this, you can see how much from the inside this works that he never even... He doesn't hit the net. Now go and try this drill and see what happens, especially if you're somebody that feels like you are pulling off the ball, right? You pull off the ball, you come out of posture, you yank hard to the right with your upper body. Um, again, you work from the outside in. You're going to swing and you're going to jam that bat into the net so fast. So go ahead and try it. Let me know in the comment section below what you think. There's going to be plenty of people that are going to say this is a stupid drill. I know that. And, you, you know, they're going to say, look at how much his barrel is dropping and working too much under the ball. Um, again, keep in mind this is an exaggeration. But also, like, if you don't believe that some of these characteristics that you want to work some of these into your swing, then obviously you're not going to like the drill. But if you're somebody that feels like you have some of the things that he was talking about, probably on a much greater scale, where everything you hit as a lefty is just pulled it to the third baseman, everything you hit as a righty is just rolled over, or sorry, to the first baseman, and everything you hit as a righty is just pulled or rolled over to the third baseman, the shortstop, and you just spend your whole day fouling off balls that you feel like you should drive, and you feel, and then you get a ball you can drive, and when you hit it, you just pull it into the hole, and you can't get the ball in the air, you can't get good spin on the ball, then give this drill a try. Again, I'll show you in regular speed again. Just going to put your butt on the wall. That's all it is. You can do this drill with flips. You know, a lot of the drills that he was doing was he was swinging and stopping. So he was trying to feel this feeling of not letting the bat pull hard to the right. Kind of staying in this palm up, palm down position and getting the barrel to continue to work through the ball and not pull hard to the right. For a, for a righty, it would be pulling hard to the left. So pretty interesting. Let me know what your thoughts are. Comment section below. Subscribe to the channel. Share it with all your friends, all that good stuff. And we'll talk to you later.